My favorite DOT team might just be Boot Hill. He's an evolved version of Luka, but the single target version of Black Swan. His ability to deal extremely high damaging physical bleeds on the enemies, paired with the ability to re-trigger those with Kafka, make fighting single targets in DOT pretty much trivial. His ability to implant physical means that you're never going to be caught off guard with enemies that you're not going to be able to break and kill, and if we use this interesting little speed tech we've got here, we've got a 124 Kafka going up to 134 with Ron May, so absolutely minimum speed, and then we've got a fast boot hill paired with his light cone speed buff, Ron May, and the eagle set is actually going to be going three times per wave with only one ult usage. Now, if we really quickly look at the E1 from Ron May, this Death Shred is going to increase our break damage pretty nicely because this is 20%, 40%, 56% and then his her ult is going to take us to 96%, 97 technically here. So it's going to be almost capped out fully with Death Shred and it's going to work out wonderfully. So let's hop into the run and let's see how it goes. Before we get into the run, do hit that subscribe button. That would be much appreciated and also join the Discord if you guys want. It's in the description. So we're going to start off with this extra 20% Death Shred here from Pela going into a basic to trigger the technique from Kafka. We need the toughness on that guy to be a little bit lower than max, or else Boot Hill, even at max stacks, will not be able to one-shot it. Now here, we're going to get this extra res pen and skill point after we use the skill on Boot Hill so we didn't waste it, and then get this Death Shred. Now we need to take out this dog immediately because then we're going to get two stacks of pocket trick shot right off the bat. Perfect. Apply physical with his ult. It's also going to delay that enemy a little bit as well. And then now, depending on who it imprisons or gives alien dream, doesn't really make too much of a difference. As long as it's not boot hill. Wonderful. Okay, she got healed out of it, so we can just build up some energy now. Although we do not need to use the ult on Pela again. We're just going to save that for the second wave. Now here, time for boot hill's first real attack. Wonderful. And then now we can just try to chip away at this dog. You never know when this dog is going to survive. He is the one thing that sometimes survives. Great. So at this point, we just want to make sure we get that resolution debuff on that enemy once more. So now this break will be able to blow it the hell up. Wonderful. And then now an AoE ult from Kafka. Beautiful. Clean it up for a little bit of energy off the kill as well. And then we can actually action advance Pela with her ult, thanks to the eagle set, and then do the same thing with Boot Hill. Apply that physical on the left enemy right here. And now we can just kill him. Not have to worry about taking any damage. His AoE cleave attack does a ton, so this is pretty good for us so far. At this point, this basic doesn't matter. We're just going to go into the next boot hill turn. Hopefully try to break Japard in his first attack, which is going to need some toughness from Kafka. So now we get that extra res pen and death shred. And at this point, we're going to re-trigger the left break on that enemy, and then also more importantly, take toughness off of Japard. Same idea here. We did that for toughness, not really for damage, because now one shot will bang. Beautiful. So at this point, now we still have a boot hill and Kafka at the end. Notice that Kafka is also after, so it is pretty good there. Would have been nice if that second action... Never mind, I take it back. It worked out wonderfully. The speed tuning, wow. Retrigger. Both ults are up. Will we need them? Who knows? We'll let Boot Hill take the first shot. Bang. That was the Boot Hill dot run. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss it. Adios.